Broken dolls behind iron bars. Oh, hush. Huge wooden toys are locked away in here. Scary silhouettes in the dark. There's a large woolen snake behind these bars. That's a weird description for something we can't see. Uh, it looks like a door, but it won't move. There are three of these doors in the game, and you can unlock one per playthrough. That one, which we can only unlock after beating the first boss, and I'll show you how, uh, contains a dress that's like a weird uh, straitjacket dress where you can headbutt monsters. Um... I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get the third door we come across. The second one contains a fishing rod, and the third one contains uh, a method of uh, getting... Oh, and, um... I, I don't think you can kill these. A method of getting to a save point easily, which will... Which is super useful for us, and, uh will also uh, get us the crossbow. Broken dolls are piled up here. They all seem to have died trying to find a way out. And you can be knocked in there. That does a little bit of damage to you. We want to take as little damage as possible. And I am going to go back and save and also get another dress. Because we really, really need to save before this next part. I have died so many times um, attempting it. Military uniform. This is my Royal Armed Defenses uniform. I feel more confident wear when wearing this, plus 15% defense and fast reload. Thank you. You can't... I, I can't overstate how, like, useful the fast reload is. The reloading in this game, well, uh, not for the handgun, but for other guns, um... Is so slow and it, it really can mean the difference between like life and death so this is probably the best dress in the whole game like even better than uh, some of the secret ones but um, it's I, I won't be wearing it all the time but I will be wearing it a lot welcome thank you Let's do this. recommended that you run and fight them in a different location, but, like, I like to get it over with because there's some other enemies over here that we have to fight as well. Well, I mean, we don't have to. Of course, we could run from everything, but the combat in this game is rewarding. We want those tooth wheels. 
and also I don't want to have to worry about these enemies later. I am prepared for them now. There is a note. It reads, Is it true that one of the guys who transported the finger of God injured his hands on it? They say his hands looked like charcoal afterwards. Just want to know if all of these rumors are true. I love survival horror games, so people uh, communicate exclusively in memos. Um, this game does need more memos, though. It would improve the game so much. The memos that you find are so few and far between. Um... really dangerous. And did you know that you could kill all these guys for a one tooth wheel each? Which is fine because Martin shots are useless. Um I I don't I don't know how to like express to you guys how like subtly I am uh pressing, like, the joystick, and it's still so finicky. The hitbox on everything here is just so specific. I think so. Why did that get him? see the tooth wheels. Did I get them all? You know, I'll come back for the rest. A big animal cage. Some steel medical equipment. The closet is filled with old medicine. Picture of arms. There's a wooden doll torso with some cogs and a crank on the table. It looks like some kind of disassembled machine. I wonder what happens if I put it back together. It's working! Cage key. Nothing of interest here anymore. A picture of human anatomy. A 
closet is filled with chemicals, nothing useful. For now. Clean porcelain sink. There's a letter laying here. It reads, We received a letter from the Manor of Tides again. There is no stopping now. All the experiments will not be for nothing. We are too close to finding the answer. Barbara. A simple bed with a cold metal frame. I don't want to sleep here. today. A small blue cabinet with some sheep painted on it. It seems to be locked with a four-number padlock. I need to know what contents have been locked away in here. I'm not sure if you can just guess. I don't think you can. sense. all of them. I know this is riveting content. Ah! You almost escaped from me. part's not hard, it's just te tedious. Um, and when I say something is tedious like that, like, in, in this case, I don't actually mean it as um, an, an insult or, or, like, a criticism. I think it's very in the style of this game for there to be just kind of, like, a super easy but very tedious puzzle. Um... After the boss, we'll be doing a puzzle that's, uh more close to... I don't know. I, li I like the puzzle because it's, uh, it's more close to the survival horror puzzle difficulty that you'd find in games like these. Although, I mean, it definitely varied. Some 
uh, old survival horror puzzles were harder than others. Hanging clothing. There is a fruit basket on the table, but the fruit is fake. A bowl filled with water. This is another place that you can change your makeup if you have the, that modification. And this is the next dress, the clown costume. Not really, but that would be cool. A closet full of clown equipment and a big clown suit. Like, I mean, I mean something more fashionable than this big clown suit, but maybe like a clown-inspired dress. I assume that um, more dresses are going to be added to the game later on. Um, dress, just a dresser screen, because like, I I I love costumes in video games, and uh, I love that you're able to change your your costume in this one, and it's kind of like gamified. We are not alone. Um, excuse me? That should have hit him. What the fuck? He's not dead. I wish I had time to relax. Just a dark corner, nothing here. A nice soft couch. A wine-stained note. At night, I can hear something crawling behind the walls, and it's way bigger than a rat. Could it be one of the missing patients? They all touched the stone, and none of them survived this treatment. The gate is locked. There is some kind of slot here. A coin-shaped object could fit in here. We can only unlock that on a new game plus, but it's some extra... Uh, it's some extra goodies. A nice soft couch. The bottle is empty. That's not a couch, that's a chair. It's way too hot in here and this is the reason. Um, I love the aesthetic of, of this room. Uh, I mean, the, the whole game really, it's very, it, it is uh, Jan Svankmeyer, Alice inspired, um, which is, which I love. Um, my favorite part of Alice Madness Returns, which I didn't really like overall, uh, was Jan Svankmeyer inspired. Like, that was the only really good part of the game for me. Um, but it didn't last very long, but this is an entire game built around that, so it's great! And again, I'd be really interested in seeing these uh, backgrounds in high resolution. All right, the blunderbuss. If you Thank don't, you. if you don't know what a blunderbuss is, Thank 
I got a treat for you. And I just buy all the, um, the shotgun shells. Uh, because these work in, in two guns. One we get much later. But this is our main shotgun for most Thank of the you. game. Um. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this for now, and then we'll go back and save before the boss. Music's amazing too. It's just absolutely perfect. The aesthetic of this game, the music, the, the graphics, they're all fantastic. Any any problems I have with this game are not due to the uh, graphics or music or anything, any kind of aesthetic or, or musical, like, sound, entire sound design is amazing, but. Like, all of that is absolutely perfect. What the- am I dreaming? <laughs> I knew that one was coming. So it was all just smoke and mirrors? Impressive. No, that doesn't explain anything! Boxes filled with circus decoration. How do you explain the gigantic lips and the eyes that looked at you? <gasps> this thing's annoying because it like it rolls away when you hit it. Oh, damn it. But if you fight it in, like, a corridor like this, it can't really roll very far. First med kit of the game. Normally, we wouldn't heal like this, and I'll show you why after the boss, but um, it's, it's best to heal when you uh, are in a different dress. You'll see why later. Sheep are painted on the walls. Eight small sheep and ten big sheep to be exact. Furniture covered up with blankets. Nothing of interest here. The walls are interesting. I should take a closer look at it. I just did. This clock is missing its... Again, grammar error that I don't want changed. It, it makes the game feel even more authentic. Uh, the clock is missing its pointers, but I can still hear it ticking. Strange. Every tick sounds different from one another. I don't want to sleep here. I don't think the... I, you know, I don't think that with sleeping here, the bed itself is the issue. It might be this. A huge old woman doll is standing in a glass box. There is a note. It reads, 
I know this is not the most cheerful job in the world. Don't stare at the clock all the time. Try to get some sleep. Maybe count some sheep or something? Look at the... Ugh, everything's so detailed. I want to see it in, in, in higher resolution. And like, I mean, it looks good as it is now, but... Because that's the style. But I also want to see it in higher resolution. <laughs> Did that doll escape? So... We have a bit of a problem now. That's, uh, she's after us. When you enter any room, besides the save rooms, which are safe, you need to wait a little bit. <laughs> To make sure that there is no uh, mysterious, scary, ticking, scary, horrific, scary music that is playing. Because she's going to be after you. And um, she grabs you and uh, it's... It, sometimes you can get away, but I think the second time she grabs you, it's, it's, in, it's instant death. Um, and most of the time, you can get past her. Uh, but honestly, I, I like to play it how, like, I go into another room. And if I hear that music, you have to wait a minute to make sure the regular music doesn't fade out. Um. I like to wait, uh, wait a minute. And then, uh, to make sure that she's not in here. Because, like, you just exit and enter back in the room and she should be gone. It's just, uh there's a chance of her spawning every time you enter a room. It's really freaky. <laughs> and I, I don't think it's an issue that she doesn't follow you from room to room. Some people might be like, oh, it's not scary because you could just enter an exit. It's like, yeah, but that's how games were like back then. Um, they'd have that kind of threats. Like, in Resident Evil, when you entered a room and you saw zombies and you exited, they didn't follow you through the door. Okay. Blunderbuss time. And of course, save. Welcome! Thank you! Thank you! Strange, she hasn't shown up yet. I mean, it's all... It's all determined by RNG, but... It's still odd. And she's, of course, going to show up when I least expect it, and I'm gonna freak out, even though it's not, like... It's not that scary. It's a stone bus. The label reads... Isabella Flora, expert in biology. So biology. Green cone hat because of the flowers on it. It's a stone bust label reads Simon Celsius, professor of astronomy. Astronomy, so the yellow cone hat with the stars on it. And it's a stone bust label reads Hermann Heinrich Hahn, master of psychology. And this is the red one because um, it's the last one we have.
getting closer to it. Well, I mean, it's a blunderbuss. It's it's basically a shotgun. So the closer you are, the more damage it does. But I feel that, like, the closer I am, the... I get, like... Why am I getting hit so much? And this loading is extremely slow, but it's made so fast. Oh my god, why am I getting... This is not normal. This uh, dress is really a must for this battle. Pulse meter. locked. The, the lock cover is shaped as a right hand. See? Uh, you're stuck. That all? Move! I don't want to miss a single tooth wheel. Let me see. Alright. The food on the table is made of wax or something. Looks quite real. Just an old oven. Some old junk. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I got all of them.
So I think this room will be back to normal after you defeat Edmonston. Point. You don't look so dead. He's clearly a puppet, you know. Yeah. So this is the modifications. Remember, getting a single modification will let will uh make you unable to get the A ending, which is fine. Do whatever you want. Um, but we're going for the good ending this time, and once per boss you get a unique reward. You can get the hammer, Edmondson's wooden hammer. I'm perfectly happy with my saber, or we could get the teeth stone, which lets us unlock one of three rooms, so. Oh, yes. Welcome! Nurse dress and hide your suit. I, um... I'm actually gonna... What am I doing? Okay, so we just got the pulse meter. We have to go all the way back. There is no shortcut. It is all the way back here. There's a note on the ground. My mother escaped. She is roaming the hallways in search for me. It's possible that she senses a similarity between us, so watch out. She will try to catch you. Yeah, I noticed. This way. This way first. This clock is missing its pointers, pulse meter. Yes, you can. Hmm, I wonder what output I will get from this clock. Four, four, one, three. Okay, four, four, one, three.
And d you know, don't think I didn't s notice that your eyes are following me. Make sure you wait in this room too, because you can't appear. And since there's no music, you might not uh, notice and you might run right into her. I immediately forgot uh, what it was. It was 4413, right? Oh, yes. And uh, if that doesn't work, uh, remember you don't know necessarily uh what it started at so it could be like three four four one or just keep going around until you get it yes that's it And we go all the way back. What's in here? Is there anything in here? No, it's it's closed. And the hats are gone. They took our hats. Come on! I don't know why that scares me more than, like... I don't know, something about the music that's just like, ugh. The... the I, I think the music fading out is really effective, because it gives you that slight moment where you think, okay, maybe it's okay, and then you hear the... You know? Like, she's not even that dangerous. You can easily get past her. You can just, like, walk past her. And she probably won't grab you. She usually doesn't unless you run right into her. And, uh, eight big sheeps and ten small sheep, so... The time... Let's see what happens when I install these. The time is 8.10. Um, you also might have noticed I haven't been saving much. Uh, I don't recommend playing the game that way. I'm just like, I'm, I'm being overconfident, which... Uh... Yeah, save often. It's, it's just one tooth wheel. It's not gonna make one of a di much of a difference. A key fell out. I key. Oh, I key. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, he didn't hit me. Did get me. Um, also, never let your health get that low, especially. Um, <laughs> without saving for a while. Do as I say, not as I do. And uh, this is efficient healing. So this, uh, normally a med kit heals half your health, and this one heals almost all of it. Um, I'm gonna put this on just for now. I'll, I'll put it on in a little bit. But I want to fight some things, and uh... Having that fast reload is going to be very necessary. <laughs> <laughs> 